What's in your box? For several years now, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep vehicles have been plagued with oil and coolant leaks coming from the oil filter housing, which is located under the intake manifold and in the valley of the engine block. And because of the frequency and repairs needed for these vehicles and housings, many myths and misconceptions have been formed around the reason why and what the correct fix might be. So today, we're going to discuss the cause, the correction, and why standard oil filter housings are the aftermarket leader and the right part to get the job done right the first time. Now, modular oil filter housings are becoming increasingly popular in modern vehicles, replacing the older, spin-on style filters. But they don't just filter the oil, they also cool it. These housings contain passages for both oil and coolant, and the passages are very close together, so even one failed seal can easily cause cross-contamination. And in addition to that, they have been designed to properly cool the oil under extreme conditions. So it's important that any replacement unit matches the heat dissipating characteristics of the original design, meaning that the housing should be made up of the same type materials to ensure proper cooling. Well, if the design and materials used are correct, then why do they fail? Well, let's talk about it. The myth is that the housing warps due to heat, causing oil to leak. But the fact is, the high strength, heat resistant housing doesn't actually warp. There are simply some weak points in the OE design allowing oil to find the path of least resistance and pass on through. At Standard, we have identified these weak points, corrected them, and now installers can replace the oil filter housing with confidence, knowing that the customer will not be returning with another puddle of oil in the valley or on their driveway. So what are the flaws and how did we correct them? First, we looked at the core plugs at the rear of the housing. Now these plugs are a byproduct of manufacturing and simply fill in the hole once the build is complete. The OE design calls for these to just be pressed in and ultrasonically welded, which in theory should be enough. But we're talking about oil here and without a seal, there is no guarantee that it won't find a way out. So what did we do? We added seals. We now install O-rings on all of the plugs before ultrasonically welding them onto the housing. And this creates a positive long lasting seal. Second, we look to the front of the housing where the sensors are threaded in. Now, this housing includes both the oil temperature sensor and the oil pressure sensor. And the oil actually leaks between the brass insert and the housing itself. So once again, the standard solution was to correct this by properly sealing the insert and the housing where they meet. Multiple seals are now installed on the brass insert. Two are installed on the knurled brass insert for the oil pressure sensor and then we have one that is installed on the insert for the oil temperature sensor. The sensors are also then pre-installed in a controlled environment. Third, we looked at the mating of the oil filter housing and the engine, and there are multiple seals in between. Over time, the OE seal material can become distorted or crushed and fail. So we had an easy decision to make, and we now pre-install new distortion-resistant seals with a synthetic material that is less prone to distortion and failure compared to the original. And finally, we found that it is also possible for oil to leak between the heat exchanger and the housing. So we designed an all new distortion resistant gasket to prevent future leaks. And we also pre-installed them during the final stages of the build process. The heat exchanger is also pre-installed at the factory in a controlled environment, so you don't have to worry about attaching it. So now the replacement option is pretty clear. There's no need to change the housing material or reattach the old components to a new style that promotes less warping because warping was never the issue. The standard solution of properly sealing the original design and ensuring distortion resistant seals is the correct fix for these oil filter housings. And as an added bonus, it comes complete with all new sensors, a new heat exchanger, new intake gaskets, and because we used the original design, they maintain the OE style oil filter that also comes pre-installed in the new housing. No need to cross-reference or keep up with multiple part numbers when the next oil change comes due. And before we go, a quick tip is this. Before reinstalling the new housing, make sure the valley is cleaned and no oil is left standing from the prior leak. If this step in the R&R process is neglected, standing oil in the valley may drain down to the ground, causing you to think a new leak has formed. And that's a lot of work to verify after the fact. So clean up before you wrap up. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for future videos just like this.